udah pakai ya. Hope you are doing well. I'm alive. That's how you see me. I guess it is obvious. <laughs> I guess it is obvious. We thank God for today. It is uh, the 19th of, of uh, November. month is ending very very soon and uh, some of us have targets not actually targets have assignments to accomplish by the end of the month should be done and over with and we get to the next level every month every 19th you're supposed to give birth trust me i did and i'm very proud of myself pushing the baby on the 18th was very hard but i did push that baby and uh, mm, i'm good i am cured my friends so today is the 19th if you haven't yet given birth i i encourage you not to miss any 8th <coughs> and on 9th you give birth please don't let 9th pass you when you haven't given birth I gave birth I gave birth with time you'll know that babies have been giving birth to don't worry that is if we are here to inform people about our private lives <laughs> you know I see people struggling and giving us information about our, their private lives. Oh, you fear dying. <laughs> Lord of mercy. You fear dying, so you have to update us. <laughs> so that way, by the time you're dead, everything is out and they don't need to bring anything new out. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot afford to live a secret lifestyle hmm? <laughs> like some of us eh? and people wake up and they're like ah <laughs> it's because we are used to living a private life we are not like we are not celebrities <laughs> we 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 encourage others in privacy we 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 are role models to very many people. <laughs> you get. We do it in a silent way. Our <laughs> our results make more noise than our actions. Of course, if the actions don't make noise, the results will never be known. So when our results come out, they they leave a stamp. Some of us are on earth to leave us a big, huge stamp that no one can move. That is by giving our lives to Christ. And uh, through Christ we are able to help other people go to the next level. That's how we do it. <laughs> Your results are making a lot of noise. And when we, we go for quality control. <laughs> I love violence. <laughs> I it's that sort of I don't love violence, but I always see people who love violence. I uh, I am humbled and happy to be back here. It's it's um uh, I've I've gone through a lot of things uh, in life, but uh, this season is more. Is more emotional, more heart touching than uh, than the physical part. The phys my physical part has been touched my whole life, but my heart, 
my emotions were almost going to be shattered but i thank god for for the holy spirit for the courage i uh I have never seen in my life where people do things and uh, instead of apologizing, they give you a silent treatment. It's, it's interesting. I've never seen it in my whole life. Because me, when, uh, when we're growing up, when you do anything wrong, you apologize. You don't give people a silent treatment. I don't know whether I grew up in heaven or <laughs> Like, it's it's mesmerizing. You guys think it's something small. It's because it's you guys being it. That's why, like, you're like, what is she talking about? But uh, the day you wear that shoe is the day you'll know <laughs> that it, it is real. <laughs> that people do things. Because I'm like, when you do something wrong, apologize. Don't just hide. Don't just hide. Don't just cover it and brush it off. It's it's very interesting. It is very, very interesting. Or you don't know how to come back and clean up your army. So I'll clean it up for you. That is all I'll do. Why? I don't want your kids to do the same mistakes. Because it became a legacy. <laughs> I look at pastors' wives, pastors, they give a silent treatment because they've done things that are not right. And they, when they were growing up, they don't have that beat in them of saying, I am sorry. In that even their kids don't have it. Because if your mother cannot say, I am sorry, where will the kids get it from? People, what people do is to ignore. And I'm like, you're also a leader. And you think God can give you a nation. You know God is very, very interesting. I love God in an amazing way. I tell you. Now these are things, they look very small, but they became a stain. These are things that are in church, in families. You find someone doesn't talk to people, and you're like, what's wrong? They're like, that person, man, stepped on me the wrong way. I expected him or her to apologize as a leader, and they don't. And I'm like, and you stand at the pulpit and continue to preach that word. Of course, when when you're, you when you're at the pulpit, we are still looking at the tabernacle Moses built. When you are at that, there is that mercy seat, where Jesus used to, God used to come down and sit. Eh? When you're at that point, that is not you. But after teaching like this, or preaching, or praying, or prophesying, most of you, the Holy Spirit leaves. No day and you wear your small garment of selfishness. I'm like, you know these things are not taught anywhere. They call it wasting time. And that's where the devil sits. Now nah, to oh. <laughs> nah. That is why church is very cold. It is not warm, it is not cold, it is look warm. <laughs> but we read the word that Trina get you to so much gum. Let us sing Akusava to so much gum. O Muzungu was singing Akusoma and Eta Saba. Even to your Marok Somawa, enough knowledge. Nagamba, we thank you, Lord, for today. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. The grace, on condition they pray the grace, and our Father, then they walk away. Us, ay, 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 when it's the word, the time. I am many things. I uh, the Lord sent me here as a watchman. I have mentored very many people. I'm not new. I uh, okay. I'm new to those who do not know me, but uh, I've mentored very many people in a silent mode. This is uh, the first time I'm coming out in the season. I've done it for three years. 
No. Most of my classes are on YouTube. But the first year was not so easy. Because um, the Lord had to deal with me a lot. Because I don't really like coming out. I used to do a one-on-one. -on -one, and if there are many, there are not so many. I am very good with one-on-one. -on -one. This is the first time. But I, I asked the Lord of, for it in 2000, I think, 14. It's something I've always wanted to do on a big, large scale. And when I was leaving the, the country, the Lord showed someone when I'm teaching very many, very many kids. But yes, I, I mentor. I'm cold in the area. I would use that word. Interesting. Uh, someone who doesn't know me has recognized certain things that people, I know they know, but they chose not to recognize them and cover them. Because I, this is what I would say. Oh, this is what I know while growing up. My parents mentored very many people. Whenever they would see something in you, they mentor you. With the little they have. And uh, that is something that is in my DNA. When I see you can do certain things. You can uh, go somewhere. I sit with you, we talk. If it means money, we put in money. If it means using my energy for you to climb higher, I used to do that. I love being at the back. I give you uh, what I think you, you need. Then I push you high and you represent us. I used not to come to the front. The only time I was at the front was mainly Sunday school. and Because uh, I don't like people begging when I can do something. So... I just come in and uh, and do what I think I should do. I feel, there are things I feel in my DNA. I watch. I am very observant. I've watched my whole life, by the way, before the Lord confirmed me as a watchman. I've been watching while growing up, even when I was a kid, because my memory goes as far as 1988 and uh, I would sit with people and keep quiet and watch every step of the way to learn as time went on, especially when I went to the university. I used to walk from the university to town. When I've gone to do nothing really in town, you know, you live and you're like, I have a target. No, I used to walk to see how people behave, how people dress. And uh, the more I went deeper in the word of God, I found out that our, th the spiritual, your spiritual world influences your outside part. The way we dress, the way we talk, it is very, very easy for it to terminate the spirit man. You know the spirit man is very sensitive. That is the Holy Spirit is very sensitive. When you do things that are just contradicting with what the Holy Spirit wants or feels. Holy Spirit has emotions. He lives. Simply because of your dress code. Simply because of your, the way you speak. The way you feel, the way you talk. If you want to override the Holy Spirit, you'll always leave. And will only come back when you're doing things that are in line with the Holy Spirit. And uh, because I'm a very observant person, when I started to teach, the Lord started to amplify the Word of God with our general lifestyle because on earth that is god uses certain things for us to understand 
the world we don't know. I love asking questions to understand. I started by asking people, why do we wear socks and shoes? Someone will give you an answer of, uh, isn't it obvious that you're supposed to wear shoes? No, there is a reason as to why God gave someone wisdom to make shoes, to make socks. Why we wear undergarments. We are looking at the garment too. We started by looking at Moses and the garment he made for Aaron and his boys. Sorry, it's an honor to see someone on the front line and asking questions. It, uh, I love sitting in classes. <laughs> One thing at a time. Uh, I'm on an assignment. So, one thing at a time. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. Uh, I, I have so, thought about it. But uh, at the moment, one thing at a time because I'm on an assignment and uh, I only do what he says. Many have told me to write a book and uh, writing a book, I've, I've done research before and... Uh, my undergrad and when I went back to do masters, it takes a lot. Uh, and at the moment, my life hasn't been settled in one place. I, it, when I left my country, I, I'm still in that immigrant kind of lifestyle. <laughs> you know, Abraham was an immigrant. It, they were moving all the time. It, it gets complicated when you don't have your own space. Yes, there is. There is a fire in <laughs> and daily deposits of the Father. Yes, there is. And uh, when the season started, my heart started, like, when I had just come, I, w I didn't have work. So what I did, I had books. When I was home, when I attend any service or anyone teaching, I would write notes all that time. But back at home, I used not to read the notes. <laughs> when I came here, I started reading my notes and studying the Word of God. I used to walk and go to a place, it's called uh, the David's Tent. And I would go, it's in uh, Washington, D.C. I, I used to go to the David's Tent and sit there and read the word and write and write and write and read and write and read. I did that a lot. Then 2018 when the Lord came out <laughs> strong and said, if you don't do what I sent you for, I'll take you back home. I started bubbling and it felt like I'm choking. And when I don't talk, I, I, I would fall sick. I would feel like I want to choke. That is the season where I, it started on the 3rd of November, 2017, and uh, man cut me off. I've, I've been struggling with different things as a person. Man complained, human beings complained that I talk too much, but they did not know. Actually, I found out that I've worked with people who don't know me. And at that time, my deliverance had started. And uh, But I called. God, God connected me. Through my mother, connected me to different pastors who were sensitive in the spirit. And they started helping me slowly, surely. They told me what to do. The time when I would feel many words and I want to vomit, like if I don't talk, I would always look for someone to call. I did not know people hate it and people started complaining. And some started complaining in silence, in private, because you know I'm not on ground. Then of course my small nuclear family was approached and they had a meeting about me. And that is, that is the one that opened the can of worms. <laughs> And I found out, then I started researching things about being away from home. What people in the diaspora go through. And the Lord, the Lord started opening my eyes to see certain things 
that people go through and they get annoyed and run away and they don't do God's work. Some came here to do God's work, some just came to look for money uh, to see how to, they develop their families. But uh, along the way, they're not in good terms with their family members because when you're not in a particular place, you do not know what it feels like to be in a particular place when you are alone. Many people here have their family members or have close friends that they've known for years and it is easy. One time when someone told me, she's very proud of me, she did not know that I could stand the ground. One of the toughest and hardest grounds to stand on is the U.S. But people who don't stay here, who just see things from space, they think it is that easy. This ground, if you, if God has not sent you to this ground, you can't handle it. It has a lot of things. Yeah. Ezekiel 33 and Jeremiah 33. Mainly watching over Uganda. That was the reason why. I, you can go and buy the book of Dr. John Molinde. Because when I was leaving the country, the Lord sent someone to tell me to buy the books. And I come with them. Because the Lord wanted me to understand what exactly he sent me, sending me for. Because it's not a life I was living home. As much as I come from a family where my mother is an intercessor. And we've done it my whole life with her. And the Lord told me to come with this book. And whatever Uganda is going through, most of it is 30, it's now 27 years with this book, but the Lord started talking to Uganda 38 years ago. As of now, it is 38 years. And in this book, there are kids the Lord talked about, and some are still hiding. I happen to be one of the kids in this book because it came out when I was uh, 10 years of age. And the, the month and the year in which it came out, I was attacked. My mouth was attacked so that I never talk. So I grew up when I, my words are very few. But those are things that are, we kept to ourselves. Because we're like, it's not helping anyone. But when the season started, the Lord told me to come out and I first refused. And the three years I have been doing this, all the warnings in there, things have unfolded. While others are seeing them in the news, things have folded. They are still unfolding. Every time a warning would come, I would run around. And I love people so much, I would run around to tell people, but they were not listening. That hit my heart so bad. But... This year when uh, I had to choose whether to love people so much and uh, sympathize with them or to do what God is telling me to do. God loves us so much and he does not want to lose. But when we sin, you're going to choose which side you stand on. When you read, I think, Numbers 26, a time came and Israel decided to divide itself. We'll get time and study the word. The Lord is like, we have read the Bible so much, but we've never implemented. Next year, 2020 was originality, availability, the word of God. That was 2020. Then 2021 was originality, availability, the word of God, its practicability, and humility. Those are things each one of us was supposed to do. Then 2022, it is originality, because we left our originality, and we duplicated ourselves because of our lifestyles. Originality, availability, the word of God, practicability, humility, and obeying rules and regulations. And now, this year is ending, but all these six, very few people have done. 
Next year, number seven is added, implementation. Everyone gets a word for the season. I only have implementation. That's all. Thank you so much, Joe. Means a lot. I'll get some time and read again what you are writing. It it means a lot. <coughs> When God chooses people, you have to, you can't move in a group of human beings. When God chooses you, you have to choose which side you're on. Because the Lord told me that we do not know how he speaks as much as we've read about it. But few people have experienced it, the real thing. Some people, it's their emotions that talk. And uh, the Lord says something, but you talk about it, but you don't walk the talk. That is where the challenge is. Walking the talk is a challenge and uh, adding things that he has not said to you is also a challenge when it comes to God. You have to do things his way, not our way. We are going to pray. I was still sharing as I discussed with Josh because he wrote up certain things. You respond back. I emphasize, I encourage parents to teach your kids the right way. The right word. People, many people have taught the word, but few are doing what the word says. You are praying more than reading the word and put it in, putting it in practice. Okay. I think uh, I'll do the rest later so that we have enough time to to cause I yesterday I did not finish the class so I want us to take it to the next level okay okay let us pray Heavenly Father we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor thank you for loving us thank you for wisdom thank you for knowledge I decrease and you increase give me the right articulation of words Lord, teach. I am just a vessel. You told me that you've made me a lead of your pen. I only download what you send. Not what I want, but what you send. Because what I want is contradictory different from what you want. Father, give us a heart after your own heart. For the glory of your name. I thank you for every man and woman you've chosen for the season, especially leaders, because when the shepherd understands, when a shepherd becomes a sheep, it is easy to shepherd others. Lord, I pray for leaders and uh, parents to leaders, those that you've chosen for the season. Give them data, provide them time, because it is you who made the time. Man never made the time, that's why he complains a lot. To man, time is money, but time ain't money. It's not written anywhere in the word. Time is life. Because he had to take time to create. Time is creation. In time, what have you created? It's not what have you made. Because they make money. God created, it did not just make. It is man that makes. That I made cakes. God does not make. God creates. I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we believe and pray. Amen. Happy to see you. <sighs> Happy to see all of you. 
God creates, he does not make. It is man that makes. The Bible, yeah, when you read, there is where they say, let us create. It, does it say create or make? You know, you have, I, I requested people when you come to these classes, come with your English, a book and a pen and the, the Bible. I want us to read. When I read, you read. Many times we go to church, people don't carry Bibles, they carry their phones, right? Careful with certain things. This is a personal deal. I told you the season is uh, removing the hair out of your nose. Some people go to the, to, the, to the saloon. Of course, they've done cuts and all that that you use and you remove the hair, right? Let me tell you something. This step round, it is you to remove it. If you allow other people to remove it, you're going to rot. You can read Leviticus 3. I think I left a memo for you. We will look at it some other time. I wrote and I left it around. You must be having it somewhere. The season is personal. The season is not group lifestyle. I want us to, to sing this song. I want you to listen to the words. I know you pray. Africans can pray. Africans you can pray but you don't read. The other friends of ours in the Western world, they read, but they don't pray. But they have faith. For them, their faith levels are high. They easily believe. But for us, we question, we, it's the way we do our things, eh? because we don't read. We don't have the knowledge. So we struggle. When we read, the things we read don't bring life. They are just putting food on the table. That is why you end up using people's quotes and they don't even work. And you struggle. You've read certain books for years. But, but your practicability is very zero. Very. I see you getting uh, awards for studying certain things. And I look at you and I'm like, when we come to implementation, you just teach and you call it implementation. Those who have, uh, have been awarded certain things in certain things, our motivational speakers and other people, even those, it is sad that people have gone to Bible colleges, but they became motivational, inspirational speakers. They are not life speakers. They don't declare life. They don't teach us life. Because the word has not yet worked in there. It has not given birth. Everyone, I've seen people doing a Bible marathon. But when I look at people who do Bible marathons, their lifestyle doesn't have Christ. It only has Christ in church. When they are at the pulpit. It has Christ for just five hours. When they get out, When they're in the, they call it being in the presence of the Lord. When they get out, forgive me. Sometimes it is not in you. I told you when you see me here, this is not in you. <laughs> there is a song we are going to sing. It's called At Calvary, the English version. But when you hear the, the rhythm, you can sing. Those who sing it in English, it's called... When you're singing these songs, don't add your own words. Worshippers or gospel artists, we will have a big class. The tabernacle, this is supposed to be a tent of worship. This is a tent of worship. But we have used the tent to get money. Bulisawa was a jiji, 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 jiji. And you became entertainers. And God has refused to come down. When the praises go up, the glory comes down. 
sang these songs and you cry and you sweat do you know what you're singing these songs are inspired by the word of God and the Holy Spirit your creation that side or your whatever they are your emotions you're telling us your lifestyle hence you became entertainers very few people who are servants of the Lord when it comes to music. The rest are entertainers. I'll help you. Ntikakano yesu muwabyo na are you sure? Nzebuliruwe nkula babubato muwade mikono o muwabigere. Nkula batova kukanisa wa muwade bigere ugende yo mkubeira okwe. Abagaba ni bawa ye mikono na yo mumataku wayo. Your mouth is never given to the Lord. If you give your mouth to the Lord, your ears don't belong to him. If your ears belong to him, the eyes don't. Your nose does not belong there. You keep poking your nose everywhere. When you've given the God the head, you don't give God your chest. For what? But you love giving your chest to men and girls. Instead of giving the Lord the chest, you give the Lord, okay, let me give you Jesus my waist. You give Jesus the waist, but the boobs, you did not give them to him. The waist has no truth at all. The chest has no righteousness. Your head is not covered. Your feet have no shoes. Your hands, they are carrying nothing. You just come wearing the hands. Oh, the body is yours. Wow. It is helping you to move your skeleton around. Ka, ka, no, yesu, muaviona. Era, ye, ye, kaba, kawange. Lero nyimba nti ya mfirira Golo gosa Yes, you keep saying you love the Lord, but when I look at you Okay, when I look at myself You claim you read the word, you claim you pray, but when it comes to actions, eh hey. Kwa gala kwenga kwa chitalo. Eh, eh, that one you love it so much. That part you love it. But the previous part you don't. You want God to give you everything he has. How many times have you given God everything you have? Your house, you claim it all the time. God does not sit in the house. You cannot give God your bedroom. You cannot give God your sitting room. Neither your kitchen, not even the bathroom. No, not even in the car. You cannot give God your wife. The wife is yours. My friend, that is God's part. 
You don't share your wife. Do you know how many times she has shared you with other people? Okay. Kwa gala kwenga kwa chita lo Ne chisa che chingeri o muntu Kufa kwe kwa jawo lu konko O kufa kwe his death removed The gap, it bridged the gap But yours has never bridged anyone's gap And you're going to die tomorrow I, I keep warning you and you're busy saying who is dead your white death does your white death it just creates a gap and you leave a void for us but for you you don't have any chisa for anyone but you want God to give you his grace. Nalio kare kusenga kwe omuloko zikatonda chembu densa ukanyini Nenja tula Buen sanyu se Sanyu se Sanyu se Yesu ya naza ke bibi Ya njaga za Bia ya njaga za Some of you sing ya njaga la It is ya njaga za Bia ya gala don't sing this song when what God loves you don't love. Please leave the song alone. Stop entertaining us with these songs. I am talking to worship leaders and worshippers. Some of you think it's about getting the microphone. Now you become, that makes you a celebrity. You also have now a kayutu bujanu. Um, and you also block people. I look at worshippers and I'm like, do you know that it's you guys that bring down God? But do you know that you have a rotten character? You find a, a worship leader, they block a people, they don't greet anyone, they want people to move so that they can pass, see, they want to be given front, see, you see. I look at them like, no humility whatsoever. And you have, they also have secretaries. I hear leave the message with my secretary, you. <laughs> my goodness. Na musenga, na tango ba, fete tu senza. Ah, 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 sanga senze na koa. And you tell us you're representing Christ. Na musenza, na musenga. What does it mean? Na tango ba, zedi uwe, na ye wange. Oh, sidi uwo. So go babuli sawa. I can see your church members there. Yours, I'm not your part of the church. I'm not part of that group, right? No, me, I know why you did what you did. I Trust me, I know. It is for the glory of God. But I don't want you to do it to any other person. They are weak at heart. They will strangle themselves. They will kill themselves on your behalf. And you're going to have the blood on your hands. In the season, I saw words like, don't tag me. People blocked me on their numbers. And these people know Christ. And some are pastors, some are apostles, bishops, prophets. They are leaders and they want to be our leaders. I was like, you, you want to lead the, God's people, you. You. 
You can always stay at your mediocre lifestyle. That is mediocrity. Oh, it is your privacy. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you don't have the Holy Spirit to warn you that whoever is sending you things, that is poison. If you know you blocked me, I pray that the classes you have in your phone before you blocked me, you have watched. Because with God, when you retake, you go back and do your paper. Otherwise, you're in trouble with the examiner because it's coming anytime soon. I pray when it's your turn to sit the paper, you pass. Our friends have gone. Did they pass the exams in the season? Musumba. Careful. Edana saga sagana kaka non tere de kuye. Si cha musengu kalina. Muka mayali naviona. Nala ira antindi uo. Na chogera ngaburi jo eramu wala ira. Na ya vintu vya uko langa sivya mukama. Ya mpisa zuka karakita, you know. You thought going to heaven is easy. Watch and this. Na chogera ngaburi jo eramu ntu kezo kufar. Ndi sanyuka oko. Hey, some of you die wide annoyed. I heard someone said that so and so died. Vambi, I'm very annoyed. M my friend, why should you die when you are annoyed? For what? Because of what people are doing. And may I go to hell because of you? <laughs> but someone died annoyed because the people did not do what they want. My friend. Whether I tell you things and you do and you don't do, I am not going to get annoyed and go to hell on your behalf. No. Because when I transition, that is it. It will not wake. Things only work when I'm still breathing. Never Savida wali akantu kaka yumba konga te kachasa. Evi baba savide. Obobu saw obu sumanya 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 omulo genzi mukama mula muze chisa. Racha mula muze chisa. Nga kuonsite waba dena chisa. E. Mutureke mba nanga wa sumba mututeke teke. Racha ngeendo kufanga nyeze. Mbuno roku wa mwango wa kuguru obu. Katisidi msanyifu nyoze ngeende mgeyena. That is out. We are going to teach you the right things. <laughs> it is very interesting. That's such a Bia soba tevi cha chuka, bia soba bia chagwa chagwa. Kastato vitereza nga, you're still breathing. Teo ina jogena vitereza. Kali ya kantu, kali kana kantu kana. Omri mugu wako guba guwe, the purpose of this thing, kava kawe deyo. Era koka sigara wali mokofi ni nekavunda, nekaunya. Singatu wadetu sobo la bulimwezi tuwa ndikuvi kudeko na tuke vera progress ya kabodeko. Over after every three months, we do it quarterly. Ngabo tutuwale ye vimuli. Mubituwale after every year, tubikule. Tubikule ntana nyavule nyanyo. Chovola by in Egypt. Eja weteva jizika. Bakuteka yo kwa ujumula. Netukule ngerango okene nuka. Katinteke tensongarachi Egypt tezika. Ochiteke tichitecho. No okene nuka anga tukulaba. No okene nuka anga tukulaba. 
no ne, ne tula bubaka ina jekalaga kake nenu kabuke nenu sine kavunda ne kawunya e eh, e eh. obugumba ne budde bwe time ne tuka obugumba te buvunda okujja ko ngetakale ba kuzisemo eri akauka kali amagumba okujja ko na ne bidde manyi mu lwale ye bidde radde ya mwe simu mwe kubaga iso iso simanya banu bakendeza simanya mawato simanya by the time you're dead you look so useless eh? But you guys don't love yourself. I have never seen this, my friends. It is sad. It is very sad. It is very sad. By the time someone dies. Now we're not in Langa Kadolingo Kura. What is young is it here? Open your Bibles and we go back to that scripture and finish it and then hip hip. First Corinthians, we stopped away. We stopped on verses 10. Continue and finish, then we attack the other side. That is, we are looking at. Don't miss out on the best. You've worked with Christ for 40 years and you miss out on the last mark, on the last day. And you die. I hear he died when I'm not happy. For what? When I'm going to die, by the time I die, I'll make sure I am happy. Yes, see, I don't have time to be annoyed with you. I am not wasting my last days. These are not my last days, but you never know. I don't, I don't, I don't come. That part, you don't have the power. When he says, Esther, you have done my work. Uh, welcome, faithful servant. You have done it all, Mambo Yote. Now it is time to go. I say, my friend, let's go. Eh, let's go. And I go where they love me more. Eh. They don't only love me with words, Esther, we love you more, 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 more. Then you sit there in your work, a small group of women and men, and you start bad-mouthing me. Then me I later get your your bad mouthing words on the on the court. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, so to these people love me this much. Ah I know all your thoughts, my friends. Instead of us knowing the thoughts of the Lord, we are busy knowing the thoughts of people. Eh, this is serious. Okay, continue. First Corinthians twelve, verses eleven. All these things, the gifts, the achievements the abilities the empowering are brought about by one and the same holy spirit distributing to each one individually just as he chooses some of you want to have things you don't have you end up fighting one another it is god that chooses for you to have things like this one speaking a new message in foretelling the future Speaking a new message from God to the people. Working of the miracles. Some of you are fighting each other. You also want to be like Pastor Robert. My friend, God did not choose you. That is Robert, you are Kakir. You are Dennis. There's a difference between the two. Dennis also opens the church there. And the, the ones are big following here like Robert. My friend, what he has... No man can give birth to it. What Dr. Mlinde has, no one. Dr. Mlinde will just, he will just be seated there and doing his own things. Then the Lord starts to speak. For you, you have not yet gotten to that level, or you don't even have it. Your worker brain cannot allow you to just settle even when people are shouting. And you just see things, and the Lord makes you walk around. You don't have it. You get knocked for come and say, it's dead, I'm telling you. There are people when you, they just wake up and the word comes and they just happy. For you, you have to prepare. Yeah, struggle to teach. There are people, they just stand and teach you. And you're like, yeah, yeah. How did this person happen? They don't need to go to the Bible college. It is man that teaches in the Bible college. But when you allow the Holy Spirit to settle, I've been taught by the Holy Ghost. 
when I was back home, I just attended class like any other person in church. And I would write notes, and that's it. Then my dad, what he did for us since 1998, read the word. Sorry, 1998, yes. When he bought me my first Bible on the 26th of February. And all he did was to repeat himself, which man hates. Trust me, the first time I hated it. Not until when I went to the university in 2004. You can imagine the man struggling with me, 98 up to 2004. He's struggling with one person to read the word. When I got to the university, that's when I understood things are different here. This is another ground altogether. When we got kids from all over the world. And I was like, he, 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 university. Oh, yeah. When I left Mengon, I went to Caltech. Caltech was a training ground for me for the university. Caltech, Mengo, we, I call it the army. Caltech, civilian lifestyle. That is the first time I saw kids in school wearing just rings. And I'm like, hey, where am I now? This is the, the cost you pay when you fail. Don't want to study. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's a bad school. But back in the day, that school was taking in kids who have failed in their schools. Kids who have been uh, expelled. That was the point for that school. And it only had a level. They expelled you. When I joined Caltech, it was still a level. When I went to my senior six, every time I'm in an environment, new things happen. When I was leaving my country, things happened about the green card. Things changed. Why not other years? Why my very year? Every time. Things changed. And people always inform me how things have changed. And I'm a very sensitive person. I listen. I am observant. Everywhere I have gone, many times things change. For, so that I can fit in very well. I got at Caltech, me, my first term there, and I started late. I was very annoyed. As I met men who have studied Essex for six years. I was like, who does this? Life is going to be... I, I met boys who drink alcohol and smoke and come to class while eating kuba and mlondo. Kids don't want to be in school and they come back. I was like, where am I here? And the administrator informed me and my mother that here we don't have kids. So tell your daughter, here... There are no kids. You tell yourself to go to class. I was like, the man said, and my heart did like this. <sighs> kids were getting out of the gate the way they want. By the time we entered senior six, you could not pass the gate anyhow. Before I know it, S1 starts. I entered that school and I was like, Jesus Christ, have mercy. I stood on the gate, on, there is a tree there, opposite the, the staff room. It was a Saturday, and I think I started school on a Saturday. I was wearing my polka dot skirt, army green, with uh, my Nike, black and white, with a baseball t-shirt, and I looked like this with my bag. That was the first time I saw Kadanke at school. And that was the first and last Saturday I saw it. Because I saw it and my heart did not want it. When my heart doesn't want something, I can easily chase it. Don't joke around. I looked at it and I'm like, really? Then time for scripture union, the, 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 the so-called Pentecostals. Yes, I'll use that word, the so-called because I have seen all of them who went there, most of them, they are just wearing the garment of being saved by character and mama yaki. Yes, we shall talk about it. And we got the other side, then the Catholics go the other side. And I looked and I'm like, hey, competition all year. I saw things continue. You, you cannot compete with gifts. You just have to embrace it, love it, work together to see how to go to the next level. 
But my whole life I'm seeing pastors fighting things you don't understand. Leaders. Let us let me first leave the leaders out. The pastors in the in the closet. You know the the church is on top of all the seven spheres of the earth. But we are doing things our way. You're working as if you're working at at Walmart. You know you can go to Walmart and and you clock in that you went to work, but you don't work. Your work is like a job. Or to some call it not to say. No very and you walk the whole eight hours if you're working eight hours. You walk around and roam around without doing anything. Then you get your pay. That's what you want to do with the word of God. With the, with serving in the vineyard of the Lord. You're in trouble. You think you're going to walk around lousily the way you walk at your your job. Then you want to be paid. <laughs> I tell you, continue. Verses 12, 1 Corinthians 12 and verses 12. For just as the body is one and yet has many parts, and all the parts, though many, form only one body, it is with Christ. We are the body of Christ. It is one with many parts. Some of you are Jesus' feet. Some of you are Jesus' hands. Some of you are the mouth, the eyes, the ears, the waist, the chest, the back, the butt, everything. So that we make one body. But we to tell you and you make us look like the miracle center is Jesus. See, when we go to Yesaka, they think they are Jesus. See, when we go to worship harvest, they think they are Jesus. See, when you go to Fanero, they think there is another Jesus. They are Zoe, there is another Jesus. They are. And you, you leave us confused as the sheep. And you cannot be on top of government when we look like that. You can never. Yet God wants the, the government to be on your shoulders and you carry. Why do you think in the army they give them things like this? This shows that government is on your shoulders. You did not know. It is because we do not know who we are. We think we know and motivate each other. Mbuno, mbuno. We know we don't know. You're motivating us so that we pay you money. Your what doesn't bring even life. You all I see you telling us to pay the money. And you, you call that in Buno, you're teaching us to know who we are. We, you, you're not doing it, my friend, for the glory of God. That is out. And you're going to miss out on the, on the mark of the high calling. Cotton. The body of Christ. It's supposed to be one, because when you bring the body together like this, when you go and read uh, Ezekiel 37, when the Lord took Ezekiel, you know you'll just read about that thing, but it'll never happen in your life. Watch and listen. I have seen people teach it, and it stops at being taught. But it does not make anything come to life. Because if the teacher does not practice, how do you expect the student to do so? We don't. Because when you read the Bible, we will study it. Nagamba, there is a shaking, a rattling, and they started coming together. Body of Christ, oh ye. We are supposed to come together, fit here, fit here, fit here, fit here. Then you come out, you just make robots. Eh? You just make robots. Basically, we look like robots. We're supposed to fit on each other. The names of your churches. When I say miracle, everyone needs a miracle. When we go to worship, everyone needs to worship God because he created a tent of worship. When we are going to call a fire, you know the birds, they use the word funnel. I'll leave it there. I don't want to go deep into it. When it comes to Zoe, do you know what the word Zoe means? Or you just, you, you know, we get names from the Bible to Okula Gavalrant to Liba Achitaro. And I'm like, and you think you're going to be like the word in the Bible because of the name you carried? Chizibo. Carrying a name and walking the name are two different things. Yes, Wakwagala. We all need Yesu Akwagala. But you're going to find people under Yesu Akwagala, Beya Galavoka. But 
Ninave mani, Viva mani, Teva single summer by Buriant by a Bible college. But you can say in a Bible college, it was a year single or summer no summers. I look and I'm like, Each one of us needs to be redeemed. Are you redeemed? Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Are you a full gospel? It's one of the old churches and redeemed is part of that too. We want Christians. Where are the Christians? You just carry the name I'm from Namiembe Christian Fellowship. We want fellowship as a Christian. Each one of us needs to be a victory. Not a victim. But the victory, the victory makes us a victim. All of us need to be redeemed, restored, discipled. All of us need to be watoto. Bible calls us watoto. Everything has to come together like this and we make one body. But for us, we love splitting it. Yoto ya gala kumanya. Kuwanga mkama ya kugamba tigwe. Olio yoyi na kuwela nabi. Nabi wani. Nabi has to work with the teacher. Nabi has to work with the pastor, the apostle, the evangelist, and the prophet, the overseer. We need to test that word. We need to test the spirit under which you're speaking. Read your Bible. The Bible is a chain. Why do we break it out? And the sheep, because it doesn't read, they think we have it too full. I look at the sheep and I'm like, they actually don't have sheep. The sheep turned into a goat. I always hear them saying, we are goat. And I'm like, you're coping, coping those funny, funny things those celebrities do. Because they don't speak life. Your pastors became celebrities because they want to be celebrated all the time. You just have cerebral malaria. The body of Christ is in pits and there are dissents, dissents, and some people don't want to associate with anyone. Your church has only an evangelist. Your church has only an apostle. I have not seen the other parts running around. It is only the apostle. Era without him approving things. You owned God's work. How can you be a kadam and you take over your boss's house? This is serious. But your mama ni abu li levi tuofu. Habala la tevo geta tobi danga nam. This is very serious. Verses thirteen, for by one Holy Spirit we were all baptized. And all the parts uh uh or baptized into one body, spiritually transformed, baptized. I asked pastors in 2020 to teach us baptism. I would come, because I feared coming out clean and straight, of course, I was like, can't they have a big gay following? People are listening to them. You never know when I send them and tell them that we are the Lord saying this, they will help their people. Mama! The Lord looked at me like this and he's like, no, this girl. Because you're young in age, you think he, I don't see those men. Ay, 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 Musa. Yeremia. Yeah, what it is, I cannot see this. <laughs> because at first I thought, Munanga, those with big numbers, they will influence your people. In that season, those things don't work. I had not cleared yet my mind that it's a season. It has nothing to do with big numbers. Hmm. Continue. For by one Holy Spirit, we were all baptized into one. Before they take you to live in that Chidiva, which is even that day, you need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. That is, open bracket, spiritually transformed, united together. Why do you guys remove words from the Bible? When we are baptized by the Holy Ghost, 
we are spiritually transformed. There is no transformation for us. It is not there. When we are spiritually transformed, we are united together. You just watch Man United. Ah, that one, oh my God, I knew I see you posting, posting it every way. Whether Jews or Greeks, Gentiles, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one Holy Spirit, since the same Spirit fills each life. Verses 14, for the human body does not consist of one part, but of many limbs and organs. The Bible sometimes it is too deep. Deep colors aren't it deep. What is funny, we, want, we don't want to read the word. And we keep saying, hey, deep colors aren't too deep. Which deep are you talking about? Which deep are you talking about? You is not even a swimmer. Which deep? Iron sharpens. You are not iron. Not with that character of yours. When you mirror quoting or quoting of scriptures, no to know you are not going to Do you know what happens in the Iron sharpens hands, deep cause unto deep. Name your come out, Mussol of his anti massum. Omlembe go for guava soma. Unfortunately, with the word of God, they don't want. Gumani could serve a name Mukoloko ten names and Mugena and Gamukopa. Ogena Kutukanga, Afki Wakom, Moyaboga, and names of Ogerakom of Bible, Valibata and Muguropo. Gavas Gadeva Copa Passit. Bonano was hung a pastor, a rakash, a cat of an angle, a rakash, and now it's even a rhythm. Gavayimba. Bayimba Munimi dot joker with us. As I, I experienced it somewhere, and I asked some people, What is going on here? And whenever they would do it, I would get con disconnected. I decided to start praying in Uganda. As I, what, what is this? And I was told they copied it somewhere and came with it. I remembered my old them days when I would go with Mama with the prayer group at church. We have someone who used to pray, Take it, take it, do. Take it, take it, do. And whenever they would start, I'll keep quiet. I was young. In <laughs> but I wasn't young in the spirit. I've never been a child. But I was always in a body of a child. Then I, or I asked, then I heard that that person has a God in the tree. <laughs> Churches and people praying for nothing. I'm sorry, I, I did not come to the US to make money. Money looks for me if I do what God wants. I did not run away from Uganda to look for life. No, that ain't my portion. If I enter that shoe, <laughs> me and Uganda lose. <laughs> I cannot do what you do. One time in 2020, NASA sent me scholarships. Last year, I got tired of my job, and I, I and I was like, I'm leaving. <laughs> but I asked the Lord, and He said, No. Enyumba mwembera nali impeta ngambi koi nangamba. That is where your destiny helper is seated. Nangamba skulava ngovu de kumuli. Ngovu send. What is funny? Jakuba wobo julize. Obobu send of lava. But dola vividi dola chkumi muchi nana. Ngazi enfuna week. Abala lava kuba dola lunana lukumi. Week. Esther solo mafuna dola chkumi. Muchi nana. Dola vividi. Echine nenyo dola visatu. 
That is the man I have used for six years. Whenever you send a message and you need help. You don't have fees. You don't have rent. You're sick. Serving the Lord for six good years. And it would take care of me, my father and mother and siblings. Make sure my dad's medication is there. Make sure mama goes to hospital. That is the money I used. So next time when you're telling people to stay in their lane, please don't come to my lane. Because you don't take care of your families. Because Esther does not only look after her small nuclear family. Esther's family is Uganda. God multiplied that little money. I don't have insurance here with a poor health of 37 years. The only time I had a major issue is when I got an upset in my stomach because of the food, changing food. I had a running stomach where I released water. And I was taken to the ER for just midnight to morning. And they sent a bill of $2,886. And the Lord, in September 2016, one of the classes, the Lord paid my bill through 77. They scrapped the $2,000 off. That day I was slain in the sitting room. And the Lord paid the bill. Then I stayed with 886. I went and, and wrote a letter and I told them I don't have a job, I can't pay. That money goes to the doctors. They said, okay. They took off the 800 and I stayed with $86. And because I'm a girl who has I have people who had given me some pocket money here and there and I would save it. I paid eighty six dollars cash up front. I do not have a debt in the US. Your family members are in debt. Mortgage, cars, phones, clothes, eyelashes. They love buying things on credit. I pay cash. I never wanted a credit card. And they told me you need to build your credit. I'm like, fine. I only use my credit card when I know I have money on my debit card. If I'm to tell you how good my credit is, continue. Verse 14, for the human body does not consist of one part, but of many limbs and organs. But when we come to the body of Christ, you split it and cut them off. Verses 15, if the foot says, because I am not a hand, I am not a part. <laughs> but, but I've seen those things your pastor is saying. Eh? How they don't belong. You have a group, a group, see your nag. You have association. In the body of Christ, you have association. Now you want us to choose which one to follow. You all want to be the head. I, Esther Solome, I am very, very sorry. What I will stay doing is to stay with Chiwembe, what is your purity? And you are going to be with Chiwembe. I was going to be with you, and I was going to be with you, and I part of your association. I was going to be a part of the association. If the foot says, because I'm not a hand, I am not a part of the body, is it, is it not on the contrary still a part of the body? 
abeche manga mwa girani what do you believe in omanyi mulina byemukiririza amweyo ne ngamba we read the same bible what is going on abeche manga ne bakuba abeche ngulu echikono musojo oyo mubinyoze simwagala sisobola ne ngamba yi yituze yo musomero politics in church buli omaskaza uwe jangwenu jangwenu eh mwebale kungoba mwebale kunkuba Nesgarani Yesu. Mbalabe yo, omu wafiru wango, o inabo sange yo, nga onagenze no. Eulita gende, chema nga tagenda yo, firu wabivyo, zika wabivyo. Totu nyumiza, mwala uyafu mbidua, uweva linyo, uweva lide dalandi bize kuchachi. Owe, owa wali 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 wakili liza. Bawa sange ya agenda, mwana wagundi ya wasiza, nga avela yo kumukolo. Bila beyo nese kani ngamba, iye kanisa ya kulistu. Yeno jivayo gira kwa mchaji. Nechitunuli de kanisa ya kulistu mwanatu. Nge kanisa ya kulistu evunda. Oh. Oh wa watoto wa wasafe na tugende kwa watoto. Toto ingira mwaka kakanisa. Yo mwanatu ya wasiza. Te wa 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 mida kwa senta. Sha. Yo omsa jomo bia na kilira. Yo wana nsanga kulisepsyon. Chokechi nsa nisa mtaba ni wabu ya genzo funo mwala ya mfunye elie wa msaji wa mubi. Ya genzo wana bi wabu limba jia jio mwana. Katimuna mtu de kumbago yamba de kanzo mzei. Owa gomas. Awa zade bayi muke kuba wuzo kube manga na awe chenguru. Mzei na afu ni chudumu sinagina mbathuru. If the ear says, because I'm not an eye, I am not a part of the body, is it not on the contrary still a part of the body? Mbalaba nye vintu vya mweyo ni mba sekerira. Muneva give up worship harvest wale to wawe, bonanga vajanga balaba. Bovale tapasta vugembe, avala iti bonano vale ngera. Noga hile ronga vanji nyo, anti wala iti. Ate na uteka koneva entertainers. Ya anti ya wategerera. Ye kambu notava jaji inga. Te mtonga bo. Tuwe nkane miaka. Ate watu jamu kristo. Muto kunze. Anti mwagari vintu vya rankasi. Muvere yunga mtu rankinga rankinga. No watu nulida. E, o mboza inacha hachi ya tenze sirina. Mukama ya mugamba likira ugena mubala. Na mugamba sigari mchachi. Abaso mamklase za soka mwachi ulira. Na mugamba mikuano jo ya abamu agara wa musinga ni mukanisa. Na mugamba likira ufuruma. Tema mtu siza meseji. Chitaro maveri. Muma nyinga mwine tima. Many times the Lord has talked to him. Through other people taulida. Nensa nga nga vantuwa inaka klip ke wasa zemu. Nga yeo zako. Na gamba tiba ina cheba mugamba. Your message is back, Pastor Wilson Bugembe. Stay away from grounds the Lord is not. If your friends love you that much, let them find you a charge. If you're looking for money to build his work, it is his work, not yours. He will touch people. That work is not yours. Stop moving around looking for money. Stay at the pulpit. You have been polluted several times. Many times the Lord has left and you stand alone. And your part is to defend yourself all the time. God is tired with you. Stay at the pulpit. He never called you to go out there. Stay at the pulpit.
if the ear says because i am not an eye i am not a part of the body is it not on the contrary still a part of the body if the whole body were an eye where would the hearing be if the whole body were an ear where would the sense of smell be verses 18 but now as things really are god has placed and arranged the parts in the body each of them just as he willed and so fit with the best balance of function everybody is supposed to be balanced if your body is not balanced that means you have an organ sick but the church is not balanced at all because of splitting the body of Christ verses 18 but now as ear as things really are God has placed and arranged the parts in the body each one of them just as he willed and so fit So you're saying you can't go there, you don't fit in. When you say you're in the body of Christ, my friend, that stopped being the body of Christ a long time ago. That is your business. If you choose where to stay, please, that's your business. That is not God's work. Because you fought with the man upstairs or the man below you, he has God's people. And they need you because you have a particular gift. The man upstairs doesn't have that gift. He has tried so many times, but things don't work. He just looks a copy. Verse 19. 